any physicist is going to think this is cool, right? Because every physicist, like me, likes to tinker and play, and so it, this is a natural. It's like um, honey to a to a fly, right? For if you're a physicist. So the IOLAB device, when you pop it out of the box, well, looks like a, a sort of a blocky red thing, and it's got wheels on one side. Uh, you'll notice on the back there's a little cavity with this thing that looks like a USB thumb drive. It's a USB powered radio transmitter. And the radio in this thing talks to a similar radio which is inside this device. So basically this plugs into your computer, it talks to this thing, this thing acquires data, sends them to the computer and your computer can display them and analyze them in real time. So there's no time delay between when you move something and you see something happening on the screen. What's inside this device is this device. And so what we have here, um, it's a little easier to see it. There's, uh, there's a force probe. That's what this little bendy piece of metal is actually. It's, it's something that's holding a magnet over a magnetometer on the bottom of this thing. As this thing moves a little bit, um, the magnetic field changes, which we can record. And the amount of that motion is proportional to the force. So you can calibrate this so that you can measure the force um, by just reading out that magnetometer that's on the circuit board. There's accelerometer, which measures acceleration in three dimensions. There's a gyroscope, which measures rotation rate in three dimensions. Um, there is a magnetometer, which measures magnetic field very, very accurately in, in three dimensions as well. Atmospheric pressure, this will measure. You can put this in a baggie and you can seal the baggie and you can squeeze the baggie and you can see the pressure changing or you can then put that baggie in a tub of water and shove it underwater and you can see the pressure changing with depth. You can measure light intensity. That's a lab that we just did last week in my e &M class. Uh, it's very, very sensitive light meter. Um, you can measure sound intensity. There's a bunch of holes in the top of this thing where you can put wires in and you can get voltages out that you can control or you can put voltages in that you can measure. nice thing that we've discovered about this is that they're exceptionally well made, uh, which is a good engineering. And, uh, and so basically the students that use these in our labs use them on tables like this all the time. And a very common sound I hear is this sound. Okay. And uh, you would think that would be a, a bad thing, but in fact, of the probably over a thousand of things like this, the students that have used these here over the last few years, we haven't broken any. Uh, we have a, a built-in little self-test feature of this thing. I hear the little song. Okay, so what I just did, as it was playing that happy little tune, I moved it around so that all of the sensors inside would have some data that was changing. So the, so the, uh, I jiggled the force probe, I jiggled the wheel, uh, the accelerometer and all the other things would have their measurements changing just a little bit because I'm moving this thing around. Once it noticed that it got good data from all of the sensors, it plays a happy little sound. We made this thing because we wanted our students to have more, um, power in their own hands instead of us telling them every step of the things to do. It's much more interesting for them and for us too if we let them explore and see what happens. I want them to feel like they have control over what they can understand and what they measure and that science doesn't just happen in this little room in the physics building one hour a week. Mm -hmm.